I'm Zarina. I'm a PhD student at the University of Washington, and I've been at Microsoft since 2015 working on FarmBeats, a low-cost system for data-driven agriculture. With FarmBeats, we're trying to solve the world's food problem. That is, by the year 2050, we need to increase the world's food production by 70% in order to feed the growing population. And one promising solution to enable this is data-driven agriculture. However, most existing solutions are just too expensive. With FarmBeats, we're enabling a low-cost end-to-end system for data-driven agriculture by, solving, by providing three key innovations. The first is connectivity. So most farms are located in very rural areas where there is no internet connectivity. So the farmer's home might have connectivity, but his farm might be several miles away. So the way we provide connectivity on the farm is by using TV white spaces. TV white spaces is unused TV spectrum that you can leverage to extend Wi-Fi-like connectivity over to the farm. So we use TV white spaces to now have internet con connectivity on the farm. The next step is that we need to collect data. So you would deploy sensors out in the field to collect data like soil moisture. However, sensors are very expensive, so we need a very sparse sensor deployment while still having accurate data collection. So with FarmBeats, we deploy a few sensors out in a farm, and then what we do is take a drone, fly it over the field to collect aerial images, and then we take those images to stitch a panorama view. Now, with our sensor data and the panorama, we can create precision maps of soil moisture, pH, temperature, and humidity. For instance, this is a, a precision map of soil moisture, where this light color here shows, shows the soil is very moist and red is very dry. So now, instead of irrigating the whole farm uniformly, a farmer can use this map and only water the area where, where it's necessary. Some of the other insights we provide are things like microclimate prediction. Oftentimes, uh, farmers need to have accurate data, accurate weather data to perform their tasks. For instance, a farmer that is spraying his fields needs to know wind direction and wind speed. With FarmBeats, we can uh, deploy sensors that collect such data, like wind speed, wind direction, ambient temperature, humidity, to provide microclimate predictions. In addition to that, we can make predictions about uh, data that we're not collecting, for instance, leaf wetness. A few other things that we do is animal monitoring. Here we're actually showing our algorithm to uh, make detections and it's detecting people and we can actually apply that to detect animals. This shows uh, a deployment in New York where we're monitoring the farmer's cows and we can track their movements, how they're grazing and make predictions about their health. So with FarmBeats we can provide all these uh, all these insights and all this data, but the second problem is we can't ship all of this data to the cloud. It's a lot of information. You can't, can you imagine having to ship every single image that you collected from the drone video? So when we generate these precision maps, we're, we're making them several orders of magnitude smaller, so from gigabytes to 100 kilobytes that then get uploaded to the cloud. This is really important because oftentimes, even though we have internet connection, the system is not reliable. We can have weather outages that make the system go down for weeks. This way, we do all our local compu computation at a farmer's PC, so all of his important insights are available immediately and are available offline. But then when internet connectivity is available, we ship these very small summaries up to the cloud, and then that allows us to even do cross-farm analytics.